Hi, right, I thought I would talk a little bit about the causes of Bell's palsy um, and also the symptoms uh, help people out there. So uh, causes, I think I'll start with my particular situation, which was I suffered from uh, very severe pain in the back of my head uh, on the right side, which is the side that I've now got the paralysis on. Um, for about four days, I mean, it, it got so bad that I was struggling to sleep. Saw the doctor, and uh, they didn't really know what it was. Said it was probably a muscle strain, which I said it was unlikely. Um, I actually thought it might be an ear infection because it felt like a, an infection, and and felt worse when I was lying down. But it turns out in my situation that that was the facial nerve, uh, cranial nerve number seven. If uh, if you want to look it up. Um, so cranial nerve no number seven is the facial nerve, you've got a pair of them, one for each side of the face and on the right side of my face um, that one had got inflamed and they think that that was from a viral attack, that seems to be um, how uh, med uh, medics explain the uh, facial palsy in a lot of people that, uh, that it's a viral cause and it attacks the facial nerve. Now uh, the cranial nerve 7, I've got a, uh, a skull here, the uh, reason why I have this is my wife's a medical artist in case you're wondering also about the skeleton in the background etc. So um, if we look at the, the skull here I'll just uh, hold it so you can you can see. Okay so um, what happens with the, the facial nerve is that it actually comes out from the base of uh, the, the brain and it has to come out through a very small hole um, and actually come out and be on the outside of your skull obviously to, to activate the, the muscles in your face and uh, to make sure that they're all working. So um, the issue being is that because it goes through such a small hole um, as it comes through the skull, if that facial nerve, cranial nerve number seven, swells, uh, gets inflamed, that can cause uh, a problem as it goes through this small hole and, and obviously you've got a, a restriction there. So um, whilst I'm not a doctor, that's, uh, that's the explanation, the medical explanation that, uh, that I was given for my particular case of Bell's palsy. So um, I have in discussing this and, and looking at information, seen other um, explanations, right down to something as uh, uh, insignificant as a draft. Um, a, uh, a young toddler that, that we know, uh, she developed Bell's palsy and, uh, and the, the doctor there said, well, it could have been a, a something as simple as um, the, the car window causing a breeze and, uh, and that happening. But anyway, it's a, it's a catch-all term, so uh, it means that basically it all falls into the bucket, but your problem is with your, your cranial cell and your facial nerve, uh, it's just not working. So I think that knowing that uh, helps you understand also uh, why we've got to do the things we've got to do to, to look after ourselves and, and recover from this. So uh, I've been prescribed steroids, which is to reduce the inflammation in the nerve and uh, the surrounding tissue. And uh, so the steroids are going to tackle that. And um, and also, if you look at the, the the symptoms, I think that's that's the next stage, and I'll, I'll I'll talk on the next video about about the symptoms and what happens when this cranial nerve number seven, the facial nerve, um, stops working on one side of your face. Obviously, you can see from the video some of the things like I can only raise the one eyebrow, um, but we'll talk about those symptoms I think in the next video.